Hello everyone. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're viewing. My name is Mary Johnson Eme and if this is your first time of seeing this face, Mary J for short, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. If you're an old subscriber and for you new ones, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much for coming to say hello, hello and please you watch this video to the end um, and also you'll be so lovely and so kind to subscribe and also to love to like to share this video if you really find it interesting and i know you would find it interesting so today i want to talk about how to start up a business yes business everyone wants to be a businessman businesswoman but some people do not know how to go about it so the how is what I'm about sharing with you. And if you would love to know how to start up a business, please stay tuned to the end of this video. So if you're still watching, then that means you mean business. That means you're ready. That means you want to launch your nest into the water and get a very big fish. It is possible. So let's go straight to this video, how to start up a business. We all know. The business is a transaction that takes place between two people. Yeah. But what really, really is business? When you want to dilute it, when you want to digest it and explain it so that it will be so clear, it will be so simple and understandable to everyone. Business, it is the exchange of goods and services, goods and services to people from one place to the other for the sole reason of making profits we all know what profit is and many people are just concerned about the profit the profit that they will make in a business but i would like to add something to this definition you know when you are interested in so much in making profit it's very good but you make sure that the goods and the services that you are sending to people that you are sending from one place to another will also satisfy the immediate need of those receiving it then it makes business complete it is a a transaction whereby the two parties receive one thing or the other and they are happy so in case if you are selling let me say plantain then i purchase the plantain and i pay you you are happy because you've actually gotten a particular sum of money then i will also be happy because the plantain that you sold to me are all good they are not spoiled so you see that at the end we all are satisfied through this transaction though you made your own profit you got your own money i was also satisfied because i got exactly what i needed so now for you to start up a business you should always have in mind that business we all have large scale business and small scale business so people actually venture into both large and both small depending on what's business you want to go into but first of all like i said the how of how to start this business the how of how <laughs> the how of how to start a business i would like to share with us how to go about it because so many people actually thought about it well i want to do this i want to do this but they are still there here i want to i want to i want to it only ended up in wanting and wanting and wanting they do not implement it they do not bring it into reality so first of all before you say you want to start up a business what you should ask yourself you should ask yourself some questions the first question that you should ask yourself is what type of products am i going to start selling now, what I mean, what type of product, what type of commodity, what type of goods am I going to start? Do I want to start selling tomatoes? Do I want to start selling granites? Do I want to start selling gold? You know, you have to figure out first of all what you want to start selling. The business that you want to venture into, what type of business is it? Is it tangible business? Is it intangible business? Is it something that you touch physical? Or is this a transaction? Is this service that you render to people? So before you go into business, you should try to find out as an access of what type of product actually am I going to go in? Do I want to start selling, like I said, tomatoes? Or do I want to start selling Gary? What exactly do you want? Or do I actually want to sell something different from what people are doing so you should try to find out what type of product you 
want to start selling to people. So that should be your number one what step. And also, after getting this, your what products, what type of product, you should also consider how much this product costs. Mm -hmm. This is actually the main problem here because so many people ended up in this how much because when they heard how much it costs, they're like, ah, oh, it's expensive. I can't, I don't have it. I've not saved up to that money. Then they stop after finding out what type of product and okay, they got, and maybe they say, I want to start selling rapper, Hollandaise, this and that. Then they don't talk about, okay, the next question, how much does it actually cost? For me to start up this business then they found out that maybe it is ten thousand euro it is hundred thousand uh francs cfa it's two million naira they're like two million what <sighs> i don't have that money then they just quit and they forget about it they are still i want to start a business i want to start a business now i want to tell you something you finding out that the sum of money to start up a business is so expensive doesn't mean you should stop over there you can actually continue with your savings because you've been making some savings for the years. You've been making some savings for some months because of this great and wonderful business you want to venture into. So all you have to do is to continue saving. And also I want to bring in something very, very sharp. There is no money that is too big or too small to start up a business. So you shouldn't wait until you get the 2 million naira, until you get the 20,000 euro, 20,000 dollars before you start up that business. You should actually start up small. There is no thing bad for you to start up small. You can start off from somewhere and reach to that height that you ever desire, that you ever yearn for, that you've, also, that you've always craved for. So starting off small is not bad, but some people do not want to start small. They want to start big. It is very good. Yeah, you are being so positive, so optimistic. Yeah, but please, I would like you to stop having this mind that you must just start it when it is all ripe when it is all big you can start with the little you have with the little money that you have you can start up a business yes it is possible so many great men today that you know today yeah that great woman that great man that is doing so well in his or her business that you know that you heard about that you've seen they all started somewhere if they should sit you down and tell you how they started you will be amazed because most of them started from the crash. Most of them started from the scratch. They were crashing. You know, they said, mm, crash, crash. They were all doing what? Starting from the scratch. They were digging it little by little, little by little. And by the time you know it, today they are doing so great. So you don't expect, you know, that it will just happen like that overnight. You woke up in the morning and everything is set. You have to start somewhere. So even if the amount is so, so high, you can still start with the little that you have, with the little savings that you have. You might decide to continue saving and saving, and by the time you know it, you will end up squandering the money that you've saved. So please, start up with that little savings that you have, with that little money, money that you have, to do what? To create this business and make it a great success. Maybe in the next four or five years, you'll be surprised that it will be what? A great success. So, the next thing, what else should you consider before you go into business? Who? Who are your targets? Are your targets youths? Are your targets nursing mothers? Are your targets men? Are your targets boys? Are your targets girls? Girl, some people actually have something, you know, wrong with this target. They'll be like, no, I don't want to limit myself. No, you're not limiting yourself. No, you're not limiting yourself. You might actually have a target, maybe women. Then, but these are actually your target. It doesn't mean that men can't purchase. It doesn't mean that other people can't come in. So you should just have a target. Okay, this is where I want to start from. If your targets are youth, you can actually start from a university, from a campus, from a school where youths are much. You can actually go over there and sell it to them. So you should also try to get what your target. And the next point is how to go about it. When you've actually gotten your target, maybe, yeah, like I said, students, should you stay at home and expect the student to come? First of all, you should make a move, okay? You should actually stand up, go to them, maybe in your uh, social media, post it that I have this, I'm selling this, I'm selling shoes, I'm selling uh, ladies' wear, jewelries, this and that, and people can actually see your goals from the social media and they will purchase or they can 
they can actually see it or hear it from another friend so you should actually make a move don't just sit down and expect things to work out no things do not work out like that so you have to do what make a move make a move and also if you want to own your own store it is actually possible you can actually start up with having a store but if the store is so expensive like i said you can actually start up like selling it from house to house from door to door and by the time you know it you have your own store by the time you know it your business gr grows by the time you know it you are at the top you are there now the next thing very very important is execution execution some people they have all of this plan they get the money the money is there in their bank the, the money is there in their house but they fail to execute they fail to carry out plan and by the time you know it all this enthusiasm all this great spirit that they have in them it dies slowly and they end up not achieving what they've planned earlier on to achieve so when you have this business idea, when you know the product you want, when you know how much it costs, when you know your target, when you know how to go about it, you should do what? Execute. You should go into action. You should start purchasing goods. You should start the business as soon as possible. Mm. Do not stop. Why you think, oh, okay, I have the money. Let me rest. Let me keep the money. Let me use the money maybe to do this. No, just as I could implement go straight and start up the business and it will amaze you that success shall be ringing 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 all around you and the last but not the least it is very very important and i believe that whosoever that listens to advices grows whether you listen to any advice no matter how little it is you will surely grow so before you start up this business even as you are planning to execute even as you're planning to go into it to dive into it i want you to go and ask those who have actually been in that business for some years for some time ask them who knows you might actually get one idea one idea or the other that would help you to grow that would help you to move further that will help you to grow faster than, than you ever think thank god for our days that we have our internet social media you can actually log in yourself and then find out a lot of things about business about the business you're about going into about the risk about the risks that are in it believe that yeah business itself is risk it is even more riskier not to take risk the life that will live itself is a risk so imagine we all sleep and we believe that we we'll woke up tomorrow morning so you should also be positive and know no matter how risky that business would be something positive will surely do what come out of it so i believe that someone you yes i mean you you've learned something maybe there is this business that you had in mind it has always been in your mind i want to do this i want to do this and you have not implemented it i challenge you i urge you from today i urge you to start it up maybe you have, you've started you've tried and tried and it has failed do not faint it failed but you shouldn't faint you should continue you should continue you should continue and surely a time a day a moment will come when you will smile over your failure when you will smile over those defeats and you shall be a success. Thank you so much. And please do not just watch this video for watching sake. Take actions. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy to be here with you today. And if you love this video, like I said, please like, share to someone. I've, I always say, you do not know who this video will help. It might help someone. So please be so kind and so lovely to share this video to friends and family. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe thank you so much you i come your way next time i remain mary johnson emma mary j for short mary j for short